My name is Alan Sparks. I've been asked to speak to you about what makes a hero. Well, what is a hero? In ancient times, heroes and heroines referred to characters who, in the face of danger and adversity, or from a position of weakness, displayed bravery and the will for self-sacrifice. It was referred to as heroism, for the greater good of all humanity. But in today's times, some may say the term hero has extended far beyond that ancient description. Who are your heroes? and Why do you regard them as heroes? Is it because of some personal connection you have with them? Or just what you've heard about them? Maybe they saved your life. Maybe they have inspired you in some significant way. Hopefully your hero means something very dear to you. They matter in your life, not just because of a label someone has stuck on them. Hero is a word that needs to be used carefully, not liberally. Over the years, I've met and heard about Australians who I would call a hero. Some of them you may know, but a lot of them you may never have heard of. Some of them have rarely been spoken about and had little written about them. Some of these heroes are people I know personally, people who have risked their lives and in some tragic instances have lost their lives trying to save others. Some of those I know personally have taken heroism to a whole new level. Their repeated acts of bravery in perilous circumstances is a stuff of legends. I received Australia's highest bravery decoration, the Cross of Valour, for my part in the rescue of a child trapped underground in a flooded stormwater system. During that rescue of this child, my own life was saved by an exceptionally brave man. He is still my friend and I'll never forget what he did. Whilst my medal is an award I am honoured and humbled to have received, I do not consider my co-rescuers to be any less brave than I. Because of this award, I have had the opportunity to meet many inspiring Australians. I had the honour of meeting Professor Valerie Pratt, who was the Chair of the Australian Bravery Decorations Council. Professor Pratt has a wonderful opinion as to what constitutes bravery. Her view, and one that I fully share, is that an essential component of bravery is choice. A person has a choice to go from a place of safety to a place of danger, or well, they can stay in a place of danger when they have a choice to leave and go to a place of safety. In my 20 years as a police officer, I've witnessed many people carrying out the most extraordinary acts of bravery, in some instances right before my eyes. What an honour it has been to share those moments with those people. Tragically, I've also seen the bodies of those who have paid the ultimate price for their bravery. Unfortunately, some people believe that different bravery awards mean some award recipients are braver than others. Some people believe that people who wear a uniform are automatically braver than others. I don't actually agree with that. It can be a terrible mistake to make that distinction. Someone may have only needed to be brave for a minute or two, but that does not mean they weren't prepared to sacrifice everything. At other times, the level of the award is determined simply because of the circumstances of the event that has taken place. The true test is, what is that person prepared to risk to save the life of another? Does it also mean that only those with a medal on their chest have been brave or had the right to be called a hero? I don't believe so. Let's revere those people who show courage, humility, empathy and a willingness to make someone's life better than what it was before. Ordinary Australians doing extraordinary things are those who have earned the right to be called a hero. They all have the right to be proud of their achievements. They all have the right to be respected and remembered. There have been people in my life who have been as brave as any and for longer than most. They've had to stay in places where there was danger. They have also left places of safety. These are the people who matter so much to me. These are some of my greatest heroes yet they have no medals to recognise their efforts. They are my wife and my two daughters. My book honours their bravery, their achievements and their sacrifices. They are true blue bloody heroes in every sense of the word.